What does it mean? What does number 10 mean? Because people say it's just a number. People that don't know football, people that not are not around football will just say, it's just a number, it's just a shit. It's just a shit, it just doesn't mean anything. You know, okay, there's just a one and a zero, you wear the shirt, why should it weigh any heavier than a number 11 in 19 or a 22 or so forth? But that's wrong. Because the number 10 shirt is different. You can try to ignore it. You can try to deny it. It will always remind you that you have to do something in this shirt. It's very similar to when you went back. It's just like now it's different. But remember back in the 90s. I don't know how old some of you are. Back in the 90s and the 80s, if you wore white boots, you were a specific player. If you wore red boots, you were a specific player because almost everybody wore black boots. But the guy who wore white boots, you you had to play differently. It was a demand you play differently. That's why your boy had your, your, the red, white, the adorers. When I did my thing, I did my thing. So that's, 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 that's where we're at. It's like Pulisic now getting this number 10 jersey. It's big. And for me, he's ready to take it. I've already said this. This is the best player that America's ever produced. That is a fact. Because someone said, oh, the best player that, that that's in Premier League history. Oh, geez, such high praise, Clint Dempsey. What? He is the most talented and technically the best footballer to have ever come out of America. That is a fact. He is legions and years ahead of um, Landon Donovan, Clint Dempsey, or whoever they're the case. Tim Howard was I. He's better than Tim Howard. Based off what they're doing in the roles, he's better than Tim Howard. And I think what we saw from the restart was the guys that was trying to say what's up. We saw a guy that was trying to say what's up and was seeing somebody, because I think he's ethnically Croatian, I believe, because of the whole name. I think I think I'm ethnically Croatian. It's a fact check on that. But I think he is ready to be that dude. And by that dude, it's that 10 jersey. It's that 10 jersey. And that, and that number 10 shirt, it means something. I think Zola wore that shirt. Fact check for me. I think I think your boy Zola got that number 10. Because if, if, if Zola got that number 10 shirt, it's different. And I think that him taking that psychologically, you have to operate differently. It shouldn't be any extra bit of pressure. You don't have to change your game. But now it's confirmation that, okay, of what your place is in, the, in this team. You're not a number 22, you're number 19, you're number 24. You are now a very important cog to this machine that they call Philly Football Club. And look, I've, like, when I saw Pulisic before, when I saw Pulisic, like, at, at Dortmund, I was like, this is the... He's got skills. He's got skills, but it never really stood out to me. I was like, you know, this guy, good balance, you know, goes straight, gets down to the byline, isn't afraid to dribble, is very fearless, very direct. But, you know, I just thought he's, he is basically what Giovanni Reina is right now, which is crazy because you can just see parallels in how, in their playing style and so forth. So I thought, okay, he'll always just be a good player. And when he now came to Chelsea and they said, oh, he's not going to re replace Hazard, I was like, whoa, 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 Get that name out your mouth, bro. Because what Hazard did for Chelsea is on parallel. It's on parallel. So get that name out of your mouth. Time. Time is, time is a, time, time is a prick. Time might be even a bastard. I was like, don't you dare. Hazard is the dude, top three, top two. He's the man, don't you dare. Sniff Zap. In 2020, in the year of our Lord 2020, in, um, what's, what's it? October 2020. Politics is better than Hazard. <laughs> Shh. Politics is better than, 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 than Hazard. So, him now sort of... Now, whether he will do what Hazard did for Chelsea, I don't know. I don't know. But Pulisic can confidently say that as of right now, 2020 in October, I'm a better player than Hazard. And Hazard, you can't even deny that. <laughs> that cannot be denied. He, he simply is. So, 
Because my thing about it is that, you know, obviously when you're... Because I think William was the no, number 10. Because see, for me, I think of these things in a very rigid fashion. That if you're the number 10, you play in the middle and you're the, and you're the playmaker. You know, you're the number 10. You're, you play in the hole. And you're right there playmaking, creating for the strike and also goal scoring as well. But also, look, it is what it is. He, his, his position will either be left, middle or right, but most likely in, in, in the left. But for me, I think this is great because I think this, as I said again, it goes back to role and it goes back to res responsibility and what he can offer Chelsea. This is a huge season for Chelsea and it is do or die, make it happen. It is throwing everything putting everything on the table for Lampard and Chelsea are ban well, <laughs> banking on everything. I told you, we're still waiting for, for it was still waiting for, for ZH. And this could be, because this isn't a season where, okay, no, just, yeah, this young player's young group. No, 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 no. These guys are ready now. These guys are ready now. Havertz, DH, Werner, they're ready now. This, this is it. This is it. And I think from what Pulisic showed last season, after the restarts, he has now made that step up from, oh, pretty good player that we saw at South Dortmund to game winner, star player, superstar, give me the ball, 1-1, one, one. all right, I'll, I'll make it to 2-1. Well, one zero down, okay, I'll get the equalizer. That's now, you've now, ent we're, we're now entering upper tier 2 territory because see, tier 2 is, you know, yeah, you're cool, you know, you do a thing upper tier 3. Upper tier 2 is that you're a game winner. You're that dude. You're that guy that we're not looking to, to try to say what's up. You know, now tier one is okay. <laughs> All right, you're now amongst one of the best players in the, in the, in the world. That's 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 all tier one, but that, that's far, 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 far away. So, this for politic, this number 10 jersey, it's two things, two things I have to reiterate, and they're connected to each other. This shouldn't be something to deter you. Or to put extra pressure on you. But you should also welcome the pressure. And you should use that pressure of the shirt and what that number 10 means to make you perform at a high level. So it's a case of, oh my gosh, I'm number 10 jersey. I have to do this. I must do this. And you're forcing the issue. Therefore, you're, talking, you're taking away from what is natural to your, to your game. But at the same time, you should recognize that Maradona's one number 10. Pele has won number 10. So that's won number 10. Some of the best players have won number 10. And this is football. This is just like, in football, you wear the number 10 jersey, it means something. So there is an expectation. That's, that's, that's what. There is an expectation that comes from it. And politics should welcome that expectation of like, Chelsea expects me to perform. Chelsea expects me. Come Sevilla. We'll get in that stream, baby. Spend me to perform so Pulisic, man. I told you, man. <laughs> I have huge <laughs> for the season for you, man. And <laughs> strong on the front light. Sick. The sick. Sick. Make us proud. Like the vid. Subscribe. Hashtag. <laughs>